look at people and I wonder all day Who are you and you are not the one in your way And then I think about myself and I stay I'm a pretty boss, look on my your brain waste I'm a freak in the sheets, but I got class I'ma grab an ass if you want it Best you ever had, give it to you Talk about quiet with a big mouth. Listen for the doubt, then call it. Make you out for what you say to me. Look at every single need. If you got what I need, then oh, I'll take you on like a big deal. Eggs you can unfill. Keen ignition. Just keep me full. I got a meal once in a while. Feel all that I, I, I know you like it. Can't fight it. I'ma let you ride the way. I'm New York and you're LA. Come together, feel the shock waves. Uh. Birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony. Until one day, a young man catches fire. This is Phoenix. Yep, ready to go. Hello and welcome to Match Day 10. I am G2019. And this is Project Saint. Coming at you with more SSL action. And some great looking matchups today. 
and we'll start off actually from the top. They're not messing with us today. It will be Athenai versus Inter London in a matchup of the second and third place teams in the table. For one of these, oops, sorry, cut out. Yeah. For one of these teams, this will be do or die. Pretty much, if they win now or lose, if they lose now, they're out of the race or any chance of catching up to Hollywood. And you it, never know. Yeah, the big question is, will anybody catch Hollywood? And <clears throat> we're going to find out. They do have a healthy lead in that first place I mean, spot. Yes, but anything goes in football. You And you never know when other teams find that, that pink form or if Hollywood themselves just fall into a slump. And I think the big question here, Saint, will be, uh, will that scrub Espelicueta be able to play any solid defense in the middle for Inter? Mm, I had to talk with Espelicueta. He's a, I mean, he's an interesting fella, full of, full of cockiness and character, but... <laughs> mm. Nessie with the cross. And that one's cleared out. And obviously for Inter, as we've seen in, in previous weeks... Uh, they're really going to look to hit Clements in the air. Just a, an absolute tower. Indeed. Clements has been... He, he has been really good playing out wide. Providing he, probably more of an attacking outlet than O'Connor and Joseph, surprisingly. Absolutely. And, yeah... Ligman and into Gentonic, who's in behind the defense... Takes a shot, and that's a nice save by Yaboa. Right at him. Gintonic, as we know, always capable of some brilliance, but wasn't able to finish there. And it'll be Gorkov with the corner. Sends a cross into Lind, and that one's way off the mark. That was some direct playing from the initial attack there. Cut open immediately. Throw in here for Athenai. Gorkov cycles it over to Gintonic. Sends it out wide to G Fuel. He's got Labovich. We'll send Labovich. Who crosses. Looking for Isosceles. Turtle snuffs that out back to Yoboa, who will settle. And they'll play out from the back with Aspelaqueta. Turtle. Nessie sends a deep ball up. But that's directly to Athenai. And Gintonic takes over with tons of space. And a nice header there sets up Labovich. Gets a cross into Malone. And that is a goal off the crossbar and in. And poor marking by Inter. I'll be honest, I actually thought it, it would have ended up in Z. Gave me a little bit of a scare there, but that was some good passing there. Some Good hold up by Labovic and manages to create the space to find Malone, who almost made a meal out of it, but yeah, it's, it's gone in, VAR can confirm. And Espelicueta and Nessie both at fault there, both in the vicinity of Malone, but neither one really marking him. one nothing. Athenai. Well, answers your question of if Espelicueta can defend. What an absolute scrub. Gorkov with the set piece to Lind, saved but sent in by Ligmanen. Easy as you like, 2-0. Oh dear, this one's just a mess in the, bo in the box. And yeah, I'm sorry. Turtle, as with Quetta, left the Lind alone and Yebo just could not get up for the second attempt. And enter London with a lot of work to do here as we approach halftime. Drew Bus early days right now, and it was not the mm. end for Inter, far from. No, we certainly know how quickly goals can be scored in this sim. Olay is from the Athenai faithful. Ligman in. Wide open Joker, was he onside? Isosceles with the finish! Absolutely I I unmarked in the box! I think Athenai wants to end this early right now. 3-0 and it's still the first. 
and it looks like Clements was supposed to track back with Joker, did not, and when Joker got picked up by Nessie, Isosceles wide open for an easy finish into the side netting, and it's a clinic for Math and I right now. I need, I need to check, what is the, what was the biggest goal difference? Who scored the most goals, goals so far in, um, in SSL history? Hey now, don't wish that evil upon me. I might, but often I might. <laughs> And Nessie with a nice tackle to win that. Gordon <clears throat> drops back to Turtle. Plays it up. Kwai in space. Has a step on G Fuel. Crosses it into O'Connor. And that one's cleared away by G Fuel. Great tackling there. And uh, entering the half. Well, Inter. They, they, they have let up. A, at one point, a what expected goal. Five shots on target for them compared to Inter's singular shot on target. It has been rather brutal. Absolutely a very one-sided first half. And we'll see if it's going to be more of the same in the second half or if Inter will make a game out of it. As you'd think, Athena would be content to really possess the ball and, and kind of sit back. Okay, so hope. Gorka out to Joker, again in tons of space. Clements trying to track back, and does to get a piece of that and force the corner. Good hustle eventually, but Joker getting a ton of space on that flank. Gorka with the corner. That one headed away by Gordon. Like the main goal right now for Inter is to first just score and make sure that they don't concede. Currently, the biggest deficit in SSL history was in game one, game week one of season one. Hollywood FC fashion FC Real A2. Ligman and out to Joker, and Joker and Space. Name a better duo, I'll wait. <laughs> crosses it in how does that get across I don't know but it does past Turtle and Espelicueta to Labovich who sends it right at the keeper Inter just kind of in shambles right now this is Joseph to O'Connor. Quiet with a step on G Fuel in. And that one's deflected. Good defense by G Fuel. And it'll be a corner kick to Inter, who is running out of time with less than 20 minutes left in this one. Can they make something of this set piece? It'll be Nessie. Back only to Turtle, who launches. It ends up going out wide to Nessie, sends it into Turtle. And back to Aspilicueta to recycle. Aspilicueta, Nessie, crosses in. That one headed away by G Fuel. Labovich takes it up the flank, and Nessie with the foul. For all hands on deck, therefore, in into. Ooh, a good chance there. But that one off the crossbar and out for a goal kick. And as we look at Clements' match rating of a 5.9, I'm going to say that's mainly based on allowing Joker to run free. Why? Marked by Labovich. Needs some help. We'll drop it back. 87th minute now. Still a three-goal deficit, as this one looks to be about wrapped up. Gordon to Joseph. Bud Light over the top to Joseph. Has a shot. That one's saved by Anderson. Nice save. 
And another corner kick to Inter. That one's headed away, but only to Kwai. Who will take a shot himself. And that one is also off the crossbar. Free kick to Athenai Gorkov. And that one just wide. As we are into stoppage time. And this could be the last attack of the match. Clements. Nessie turns it over to Gorkov. Chintonic up. Can Athena get one more? Chintonic tries to play Labovich, but overhits. Aspilicueta collects, and there's our final whistle. And this one, a solid Athenai victory. Inter really never looked very threatening. Just nothing from Inter. I, so, sorry for bringing up that, but I honestly did think that Athenai had the potential to score more goals. That was how convincing they were, and how neutralized. Yeah, Clemens with 5.9, he was nowhere in that game, a non-factor. Yeah, really interesting. You have to think that might come down to tactics. Um, maybe was set to stay forward, and the sheer numbers that F and I pushed up caused those problems. And as we saw, Joker was free on the flank. As we go to our next yeah. match, Cairo versus Tokyo. What do you think about this one? Gonna be a battle between <clears throat> between um, Torres and Forty Four. Two, two of the most informed strikers in the league right now. 44 <clears throat> has been having a standout rookie season, probably the rookie of the year so far. And Torres, well, well we saw him last week. And well, we saw him in the last few games, just finding form and taking <clears throat> names. Both on eight goals right now. Both will be looking to push themselves Possibly into double digits. I'm convinced they could score too. And my favorite part of commentating Cairo is bot to Tankaman. What will their bot <laughs> center back do? Who knows? Sometimes miraculous, sometimes horrific. Bot to Tankaman, Guilin, Obushe, Olivier Tuchon. Oh gosh, I butchered his name. Uh, I'm sorry, Goat. <laughs> they try to play Route 1 to Torres, as is tradition, but that one's cleared out easily by Tokyo. <clears throat> Bredis to Akinfenwa. Sends a deep ball to 44, and this is exactly what Tokyo wants to do. He's in the center and just cannot put that one on target, looking for the top corner and sends it over. Ooh. Well we, well, we already got a, a taste on the ice. Both teams looking to feed the strikers. Free kick in a dangerous position here for Masagi. Sends it in. The header is off the post, but also offside. Throw in here for Cairo. Jeeves to Larson. Jeeves in. Finds Iodale back to Mac. Makes kind of an unnecessary pass, but Iodale takes it over and nearly pops it into the top corner. Kind of a crazy sequence there from Cairo, but they get a corner out of it. And we have a handball there from Koibu. Larson with a free kick, headed away by Thessenvitz. Calvatore takes over, back to Larson. Mack in the middle has options. Iodale in with the shot and saved by Nudazuki. And Thessenvitz will clear for a throw in. And it looks like Iodale had Torres in the middle there too, but chose the other option. Yeah, clear space there and. 
it was in his right to take the shot. Just should have came closer to make it easier for him. Koivu to Larson in the box. Back to Reinman. Cairo with numbers in there. They'll send it in. And a nice save by Nudazuki. And another corner kick. As Cairo is mounting pressure here late in this first half. That one sent back to Larson. Ekinfen with a cover. And Ekinfen with the foul. And the yellow card. Bold, but did stop the attack, so he won't mind this too much. And that brings us to the end of the half. <clears throat> Have not seen a ton of chances, as you can tell by the expected goals. But uh, both teams having some success getting in behind to their speedy strikers, which is exactly what they want to do. And we know in the second half that one single run, one single move could make the difference. And that's all they'll need right now. Just playing the long game and relying <clears throat> on their strikers. But you never know if someone else could turn up right, right there. Cairo on the attack now. Jeeves beats Asagi, sends in a nice cross, but that one's headed by Versetti. Reinman takes over with a step on Breedis, sends it in, and that one is off target for a goal kick. Continuing where we left off with, with Cairo getting more of the chances. Tokyo yet to have a shot on target as well. Kind of concerning there. Reinman sends it across. And that one is off target. And Cairo, again, mounting the pressure. Lots of headers, but unable to get anything thus far. Larson with another corner. That one's sent back to Larson. He takes over in the box. Sends it over to Batu Takaman, who takes a shot! Oh, Batu Takaman! With one of the shots of the season... And just as okay, I was saying in the beginning of the match, capable of brilliance and capable of some tomfoolery, but this time it's Tutankhamen with his name in lights, pops it onto his left foot and smashes it into the corner. Yeah, no other way to put it. Golasso! As a free kick <laughs> by Tokyo goes just wide. Oh my gosh, that's the goal I'm hypest for out of all the goals I've commentated thus far. <clears throat> yeah, very right to be there. The King bot, bot to talk to in. <laughs> Jeeves on the left. Tons of space. Crosses it in. Koivu heads to Torres, and it's another finish for Cairo. Ah, dude. And, well, Fessenbeer should have at least tried for the header heavy against <coughs> Koivu. You, d you don't want the ball going to Torres, and, well, he's making them pay. And I'm going to say it's the momentum off of the bot goal that led Cairo to push for this second. You have every right to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Free kick for Larson in a dangerous position. Oh, and that one off the post and cleared, but dangerous. Nearly a third. That was a crossbar challenge shot right there. Soderberg to Asagi. Akin Fenwa. A wide to Thessenvitz. Breedis. Into Akin Fenwa. Asagi, 44 through. Beautiful build up play. And 44 you... again, unable to hit the target. Uh, 44. 44 chances, zero result. Yeah, 44. That's the second time he's been. Oh, and Bot. Oh, Bot going for the brace just outside. But yes, going back to 44. Second time he's been in clear behind and unable to put it on target as Asagi takes a free kick off the post. 
Ooh. And Toastman clears. The Soggy challenge and loss right there. Soggy with the corner. That one cleared by Bot. Clearly with a man of the match performance thus far. Siege, Soderberg. Crosses it in. That one's headed away to Koivu. And Tokyo running out of time to get back into this one as we enter the 79th minute. And we have an Ooh. injury. It's Jacob Larson. Oh, that's unfortunate right there. Saying that, though, in comes Guma Hokuboto to come in for his injured comrade. And into the 86th minute, we have a corner kick for Cairo. Can they add to the damage? Mack will send it in. That one's sent away, but Calvator will recover. Has a step on Asagi, cuts back, sends in the left foot across, has options, and again it is Torres. The secondary goal off the little header by, I believe it may have been Iodele. And Torres, as you predicted, has hit double digit goals for the season. I hoped that they would go on, but at the same time, what was there to expect? This is Franco Torres we're talking about. Of course, he'll get double digits right there. It was Mac with the assist, a nice header right to Torres. And it can be so tempting when you look at Max's position there to take the chance yourself, but very intelligent to see that Torres is in a better position and send it down to him. Rupp up top to 44 is third time a charm. 44 in and right at the uh. keeper, Sabota, and cleared away by Cairo. Sabota just not him 44 any chances right there. Throw in, and that'll be a corner kick. Four minutes of added time, according to the fourth official. Asagi will send this one in. Headed away by the substitute, Hulkavato. Versetti to Asagi, in for 44, clear through, and 44 the fourth time is a charm. Does manage to get one, his eighth of the season, and that's ninth. a nice consolation goal. His ninth of the season right there. Oh, I swore the bottom line just said eight. <clears throat> ah, I've got to actually check off on my stats then. Well, yep, that was, that was indeed clean passing there, and 44 finally Gains purchase. A well-deserved goal. Final minute of the match here. Calvator to Koivu. Out wide to Reinman in tons of space. Sends it across. And that's behind for a corner. This should be our last action of this match as Mac will send it in. That one headed away. Usagi taking possession. And there is our final whistle. No, a foul. Free kick. There's our final whistle. Cairo wins this one <laughs> three to one. What a wild game. Man of the match to bot to tank man. You love to see it. You, you just have to love the Golazos. Oh no, I can't hate it. I can't hate it. <laughs> and what well, wasn't that bad of an effort from Tokyo? <clears throat> but Torres <clears throat> He just sealed the game there, man. Yeah, and it's always hard when you have 
so many clear cut chances and you're not able to finish, you know, the majority of them uh, could have been a completely different game. Had a couple more of those gone in for 44, but I'm sure he'll keep his yeah. head up and keep on scoring next next match as we move into our next one, which is Catalonia versus Rio. Rio has been very interesting. They have been trying so many ways to find to find goals, and was well, going to be a hard one because Catalonia is the epitome of solid plays. They really are. Oh, oh. One of my favorite teams to watch, Catalonia. That tiki taka style, possessing the ball, the patience, the nice build up play. They don't often get a ton of chances, but when they do, it's normally very, very beautiful soccer to watch. That is true. And the possession they take means that good good luck trying to prevent prevent yourself from Well, good luck trying to score really, that's the thing. Merce looks for Horvat, that one's cut out. We have a corner kick for Catalonia at Sinclair. That one headed away from Rangers. Sinclair gets there first. Busquets, McPossum to Sinclair. Into Papadopoulos in the middle. Into Sinclair, has a window, but that one is blocked. And Horvat will clear deep. And obviously, Rio will try to hit Mayoi on the deep ball and get him behind, much like we saw from 44 in our last match. Yeah, Mayoi has been one of the standout players there. Gonna sit with the ball right now. But yeah, Mayoi has been a very solid player. Utilizing different positions as well. We've seen, we've seen her on the right wing. See, seen her as a main threat or supporting act. Yeah, and I think Rio just trying to find something that will consistently work for them. Very inconsistent performances thus far. That certainly has been the case. This ball's won by McPossum to Pop Tart, Papadopoulos. Busquets in for Sinclair and behind. Sinclair cannot finish just outside the right post. But nice passing play there from Catalonia. Oh, how unfortunate there. Rise. Out right to Mertz in a lot of space. Vins comes to cover. Nice little back heel to Horvat, and that one's turned over McPossum, but Atreides wins it back. It's Fernandez. Out wide to Mertz in space. Into Rise, who has a step and takes a shot, and that one's way high. Had dreams of glory. Just noticed as well, but Atreides now playing for real. But he was lost with Hollywood FC, so it'll be interesting to see how he does with his new team. Yeah, we'll see how he settles in. Sinclair keeps that one in, sends a beautiful crossover to Okamoto, and that one's just tipped over by Kong as Catalonia making something out of nothing there. That ball looked to be going out of bounds. Sinclair has the corner. Headed away, but only to Jacobson. Sinclair, cross. Eats everybody, and actually Sinclair was offside. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it beats it beats everyone, but the guy you need, you still need to be onside. That is a prerequisite, yes. Free kick noodle for Rio sends it in. That one's cleared. Papadopoulos wins it, and this could be a chance for a big counter attack. Papadopoulos goes deep up to Sinclair, but Horvat is back to cover. And Rio with a nice job of getting their numbers back on defense. Busquets to Sinclair. 
Busquets picks out Okamoto on the right. And that is just Ooh. a beautiful assist by Busquets and a great finish by Okamoto. one nothing Catalonia. That was great vision there. Busquets finding Okamoto, who loves to run out. Seeing Okamoto time and time again, an opportunistic player right there. And what a volley as well. Got King Kong on his knees. Well, just standing like a statue there. Yeah, and Busquets, obviously, you know, the most dangerous player, I'd say, on that Catalonia roster. And they just gave him way too much space. And when you do that, he's going to pick out a pass. Yes, 100% vision on Busquets. Shades of prime Cesc Fabregas. <laughs> Not like the Busquets we know in our life. No, no. <laughs> Possible with the cross. Does manage to find Rise Far Post, but that one goes over. Noodle with a free kick. Crosses that one in. Rangers unmarked. It goes in. And it goes off Costanza, but Costanza offside. Unlucky there from Rio. Oh, that's unfortunate. Rio... Just couldn't capital, capitalize and tie up. Costanza, if you're further back, uh, that's that's if the bots slow, but we're heading into the half 1 0 to Cairo. And if you look at the numbers, Catalonia playing their game 71% possession, 95% passing accuracy. They are surely dictating things here, but with just the one goal to show, this one could go either way. That's the problem with Catalonia. They don't score that many goals. Olays from the supporters. Pop tart to Okamoto. Challenged by possible, but maintains possession. And we'll drop back to the keeper. Get Gunnarsson involved. Again, content to pass the ball around the back and invite pressure. And then find some holes moving forward as we now have Vins Vins with a corner. That one's headed away. Sinclair will get to it. Back to Xhaka, into Pop-Tart, had some runners in the middle, didn't see them. Vince Vince Sinclair will take the shot, and that one is far wide, and Kong will take it for a goal kick. Kong sends that one deep to rise, heads it on, looking for Mayoi. Julison sends that one out. McPossum, Sinclair. And again, Catalonia comfortable to pass that around. Busquets to Vins Vins with space on the left. Has Papadopoulos in the middle. Sends it to McPossum. To Sinclair. Open. Takes the shot. And Papadopoulos gets a touch on it and puts it away. But offside. Oh, no. Uh, Papandopoulos may want to talk with Costanza on that. Don't touch the ball when it looks like it'll go in. <laughs> Even though that's tight. Oh, Sinclair will be crying about that a little bit. Greedy there from Costanza. <laughs> and Pop. Well, Pop. Papandopoulos. <laughs> McPossum to Sinclair, takes the right-footed shot, right back to him, again shoots, and that one is high and wide, but it looks like it took a deflection from a defender, and it'll be a corner kick for Catalonia. Seeking that crucial second goal, Vins Vins sends it in, that one headed out to Xhaka, to Stojakovic who turns it over as Rise wins the tackle. Can Rio get something going here? It's Mayoi to rise. Horvat out wide. And the screen's come up black again. <laughs> and again, it's a corner kick for Catalonia when we resume action here. Vins Vin sends it in. Headed out by Rangers. Sinclair to Jaca, top of the box with space. Out to Sinclair, left side. Sinclair takes the shot, but right at Kong. Is it me or... Catalonia really are pressing the issue right now. 
they have all the chances coming up right now. And Absolutely. We do have a free kick here from Rio. <clears throat> Noodle sends it in. Gunnarsson gets to that, but sends it away. Horvat recovers. Costanza. Rangers. Into Noodle in space. A chance for Rio, and Noodle finishes near post. Ooh. And just like that, with Catalonia dominating the match, they find themselves holding too high of a line against some speedy Rio attackers. And that was just too easy. A nice little ball in for Fernandez. And Noodle finishes near post. And you'd think Gunnarsson would cover the near post there. Yes, but at the same time, it just exposes the philosophy of Catalonia, where the deep. Oh! Jaka into Akamoto and absolutely flubs the finish with his left foot. Yeah. They have. Catalonia have the defense, the passing play. They just need a pure finisher. Noodle with a corner kick here for Rio. Headed away by Busquets, but only to Noodle. Into Horvat. Back to Noodle, but cut out by Pop-Tart, who sends it up to Papadopoulos. But too far, Mertz recovers. Fernandez out left-hand side to Possible. Possible taking on Okamoto. Does get a cross in from the left. That's a nice header in by Rise, but saved by Gunnarsson. Noodle, free kick here in a dangerous position, 85th minute, and that one was heading into the side netting near post, but Gunnarsson is able to read it all the way. As we move into stoppage time now, Costanzo with the throw in. Be with the chances as well. Wins it back, Horvat takes it on the volley, and that one is just wide. As Catalonia will play short, and it looks like this will wrap it up. Stojakovic plays it up, and we do hear our final whistle. And this one ends a 1-1 draw. It's the seventh draw for Catalonia this season. And I think you have I think you have to feel for Catalonia here. I think they definitely had the better of play, but that one moment of weakness holding too high of a line, and Rio made them pay. Certainly the case, but also, as I said, it just exposes the weakness of Catalonia. It matters not if you, if you can hold and hold, but with all the chances they had, they should have at least finished one or two more. Papadopoulos will be kicking himself for touching that. That's it looks like it was going in. Oh, well, that's a shame. And we'll head on to our final match of the day. It's Hollywood at home against Montreal. Hollywood, obviously, the league leaders, and we'll try to keep it that way. Um, if Montreal can pull a result here, things could get interesting after Athenai absolutely dismantled Inter in an earlier match. Mm-hmm. Well, Hollywood should have all the resources. They have they have Bobby Jones Tucker, the best from three. <clears throat> Black and Vashford and Putanesca a solid midfield and the defense has been very good. But Montreal has been able to turn heads as well. Silver Druid be, being a rather great piece. As well as Biscuit and Jaeger. <clears throat> Montreal, they, they could surprise some people and turn some heads. <clears throat> and we are off here with Hollywood in possession. Ricky Bobby to Rashford in tons of space. Bobby running through, but instead chooses Jones, and that one's saved by the keeper, Rage. And Montreal is going to have to be very careful not to give these midfielders too much space because with the attacking runs and the speed of the Hollywood attackers, those midfielders will pick them out and it will be a long day at the office for Montreal. Very much so. Always seeing that in play. 
Jones on the right flank. Plays it back to Rashford, who heads it to Black. Utanesca to Rashford. Into Bobby. Bobby plays it through. Taka in behind. That one's saved by Rage and out for a corner kick. This base itself, Montreal, is going to be a long game. Rashford with the cross, headed away by Lockyer. This gets a Krustis. And highlight ended as we get a punt from Rage. Kutaneska recovers in the middle. It's Taka. <clears throat> Gerard to Black. Over the top to Taka, who absolutely burns Lexington. Taka in. That one's saved, but Bobby on the follow will finish it for his 11th season. goal of the season. <laughs> you sounded like... It sounded like you you expected it so quickly. <clears throat> and you know, we we did. This this high line here from Montreal is no bueno, and uh, it's spelling trouble already. They're going to have to either put on an offensive masterclass to counter it, or change tactics, or hope that Hollywood misses a number of chances because just their, their shape and their um, formation right now is... Is not looking great. I have bad news for the loss option. I don't think it exists with <clears throat> all the talent Hollywood has. Druid and Krustis working together on the right hand side. Krustis with the left footed cross. That one's headed but only to Sterling who collects at the near post. Sterling and Hollywood will play out of the back. <clears throat> with pressure from Montreal. That one is turned over. Yorkis, Lexington, Krustis on the right flank. Into Druid. With Jero defending. Sends it in, finds Biscuit, but that one is stopped by Jarvala, who dove in front of the shot. Corner kick for Montreal, and they're going to have to use these set pieces to great effect as Jaeger sends it in. And that one is snagged by Sterling. If Jaeger does score, I have a I have a type of tune to play for him. Which I can't play, so I just will sing something in his name. I can't wait. <laughs> it can happen. <clears throat> oh gosh, I have to I have to learn it now. <laughs> as we hear the ever so common home team olays in like the eighth minute. <laughs> Rashford out to the left flank looking for Gerard. Gerard will get there. Taka appears to have a step on Lexington. They don't choose that option. It's black into Rashford, tackled away by Jaeger. Rashford turns it over to Biscuit. Hollywood recovers, Taka in the middle, looks for Jones. That one touched away by Doofenshmirtz, but only as far as Jones who then sends it high and wide to the left. Oh, that looked like that looked like another goal right there. Oh. Black looking to play route one to Bobby. Cannot find him. Gerard, Putanesca, Rashford in the middle. Tons of space for Jones in behind. Doofenshmirtz trying to cover. But Jones finishes Ooh. a nice silky finish into the side net. Two cool. nil Hollywood. Cool as you like it from Jones. Rage will be living to his namesake after that. Just absolutely lobbed over. And again, we see Rashford left with too much space in the center of the park. Delivering a nice through ball and... Hollywood's happy to do that. Too high of a line and <clears throat> too much pressure on the back line of Hollywood, allowing that midfield to get separation. Doofenshmirtz sends it in. That one's snared by Sterling.
Wait, it's only 18 minutes as well, I just realized. Taka in behind off the header from Bobby. That one's saved by Rage. Corner kick, Hollywood. Rashford will take. <clears throat> Sends it in. Head it away. Yes, it is early times, and... You know, like we said, you and I were able to identify the issue for Montreal pretty much immediately within the first couple minutes of the match, and that's always unfortunate because it can seem like um, watching a train wreck in slow motion. The Sometimes the easiest thing to identify have the hardest solution. And sometimes you can try and remedy that just by fighting fire with fire. Rashford with the free kick sends it into Black. Black out wide to Taka. To Jero. Black, top of the box. We'll play it back to Putaneska. Comfortable to look for a great opportunity rather than a good one is Hollywood. Rashford in possession. Black through to Jones in space. Gets in behind. And Rage does save that, tipping it over. And we have another corner kick to Hollywood. Oh, getting away with it right there. A header by Taka, cleared off the line by Krustis. And it appeared we had a foul leading to a free kick as we have a set piece from Rashford. And Black was offside. Not offside, saved by Rage for a goal kick. Doofenshmirtz free kick. Can Montreal answer back? It's Biscuit. Out to Druid. Brewsis to Lexington. Brewsis tries to take Gerard on. Sends it into Druid. Into Bjorkis. But good recovery by Putaneska. And they send it away. And here comes Hollywood. Bobby up to Jones. Sends it into Taka. Taka behind. Can Doofenshmirtz catch? He does. Yes. Throws it in front of the shot. And we'll have yet another corner for Hollywood as they continue I to think, keep the pressure on. I think we need a nickname for... Oh. Header there from the corner off the crossbar. As this one remains I think we all Hollywood. Oh, Montreal having a chance though right now. Papas Thopolis, Bjorkis, deflected, and a corner kick. I'm sorry, say it. What were you saying? I think we need a nickname for Hollywood's front three. Just for how dominant they, they have been so far this season. I would agree. We'll have to ponder that. Druid to Gerard. And Hollywood cuts out the danger. Free kick in a dangerous position. Top of the box from Rashford. We'll take the shot, but that one's right at Rage. And that brings us to halftime with the score Hollywood 2, Montreal 0. And Saint, what does Montreal have to do to get back into this one? Montreal just needs <laughs> I don't even think it's a case that we can stop stop um Hollywood. It has the only team that's done so so far is Tokyo and that is a minor miracle in and of itself. And we see Krustis has picked up a small injury on the right hand side. We'll see if that oh, will that's not gonna... force him off. That would not help things at all for Montreal. <clears throat> Lockyer sends it back to Rage, up to Doofenshmirtz. Outside to Ansha. Papastathopoulos on the left flank against Possible. Into Ansha in space. Sends it into Bjorkis. Across to Krustis. Could be something here for Montreal. Krustis cuts it back. Bjorkis. And they recycle the Lexington. Looking for their chance to trim this deficit to one. 
It's Jaeger up top. Sends a ball up to Druid. And that one is simply headed back to the keeper, Sterling. Uh, <clears throat> corner kick for Jaeger. Headed away by Jarvala into Ancha and some space on the left side. Takes the shot, but that one's well wide. Oh, dude. If you can't, if you can't defend against Hollywood, you need to fight fire with fire. And that is not how you do it right there. Pops to Thopolis with the throw in. They get that ball across. Druid recovers in the box. Cruz this top of the box. Lexington will let it go. That one deflected. And Jero heads that one out harmlessly for another throw in. Crucis with the throw to Druid. Has Bjorkis wide open. Back to Crucis. Sends in the cross. Can Biscuit get on this one? He does, but it's a weak header and Sterling gathers easily. Druid with a free kick. Jero gets to that one first and clears. Bobby wins it. Back to Rashford, up to Bobby. Out wide to Possible. Rashford with space, sends it into Jones. Playing Taka, who gets in behind Lexington. Taka on the left of the goal, cuts it back. Plays it up to Putaneska, top of the box. Across to Rashford. And it appears Hollywood will settle it. <clears throat> and look for another golden opportunity to send the ball through. And there it is, Rashford into Jones, beats Doofenshmirtz. That one is saved by Rage for another corner. Ooh. Where's Steve Schmidt's evil incorporated when you need them? Rashford with the cross from the corner. That one's headed away by Lexington. Throw in Hollywood. 59th minute here, 2 to nothing. Possible open at the top of the box. We'll let it fly, and that one's high and wide. So far, so far it's been okay for Montreal, but only because Hollywood hasn't scored yet. They had chances themselves, they just missed badly. Only two on shot out of 13. They need to be more clinical as well. <clears throat> and we have a ton of time passing here. We're into the 79th minute. Dravala open on the left, that one blocked by Lockyer. And time continues to run. Rashford with a free kick. Will take the shot, and that one just high. <clears throat> I think we're just going to slow it down, and it's going to be the end of the game. Surely, and, you know, the story is not only could Montreal not stop the attack, they really didn't get anything going offensively either. Talk out of black. And that will end it. And that's... Yep. 2 to Hollywood and... Yeah, just Montreal getting nothing of thoughts. Just... It's been wasteful plays from them, but also just Hollywood toying with them even. I feel that if if they really wanted to, we could have seen 4-0, 5-0. Yeah, really a dominant performance by the league leaders there. And the question remains, can anybody stop them? And to this point, aside from a few hiccups, they are only maintaining or widening their lead at the top of the table. Very much a case of good luck. As we see the updated table here, and Hollywood with the nine-point lead on Athenai, running away with first place. Athenai jumping into London with their win over them today. Now with a one-point lead, and then a rather big six-point gap with Cairo, Catalonia, Montreal, Tokyo, and Rio, all within three points of each other. Yep, the, bo the bottom side is still very tight. <laughs> it is actually amusing just to see how things go there. But over on the top, 
Montreal are just the kings right now, looking down on us. Absolutely, and that will do it for our Week 10 action here. I'm G2019. And this has been Project Saint. Thanks for joining us. Hey, cheers.